today I will uh, speak with you uh, about Clean Games as a successful international environmental volunteer practice for a uh, cost uh, cleanups. And I will explain why it's successful and international <laughs> and how, how to attract a lot of participants to environmental events. Uh, first of all, I uh, want to draw your attention for the uh, big problem. It's burnout of uh, environmental activists during uh, clean ups, especially. Uh, especially. Um, did you meet uh, this problem in your uh, working or in your uh, activities? Uh, give me feedback right now, please. Burnout. What is burnout of uh, volunteers? Uh, I mean that, for example, um, you have a local community, some some people of your target audience. Uh, you organize cleanup in the coast uh, area uh, once, twice, self, and the situation uh, wasn't changed. Next time, for example, after one month, situation is the same. And uh, such such uh, such um, situation lead to burnout of volunteers. Uh, they uh, lose their motivation. And uh, for solving this problem and for better education and involving a lot of uh, young people, uh, we have created clean games. Uh, in few words, this is uh, uh, a uh, competition, team competition in the West collection and sorting. And uh, with these prizes for winners. And uh, this change uh, idea of the West, because uh, idea of uh, West during usual uh, volunteer cleanup, the, it is the West something dirty, something unpleasant in the natural area. But uh, during the game, when um, West, it is a game resource. It's changed idea of the West, the mind uh, of the uh, participants, and uh, they think West as a, a game a gold, game uh, resource. So uh, it's it's much closer to the sustainable development. So in classic version, uh, uh, clean games, it is competition of West, uh, in West collection and sorting. And uh, uh, in the same time, it's an open air festival uh, with the uh, host music and uh, picnic. And, and, and uh, this event have additional activities uh, uh, for uh, better uh, motivation of participants uh, for make it uh, attractive. And uh, we have um, different levels. Of, of such organizations uh, for for beginners, uh, we have uh, uh, first level when it's it's uh, uh, till till thirty uh, participants like a uh, uh, little cleanup, small cleanup, uh, and uh, it, it's next. You can switch to next slide. Uh, and Anna, please switch. Uh, yes. Uh, um, and uh, after um, organizer uh, being more experienced, uh, he can uh, uh, hold big festival. And so some of our organizers of Queen Games uh, invite uh, until thousand of participants for one. Uh, clean up. It's, it's a great result, really. And uh, as you can see, uh, we use special mobile application. I will explain more about it uh, in the next slides and uh, additional activities. So uh, uh, our format, our rules, uh, allow you to choose the focus of the event depending on the level of people awareness and amount of litter in the area uh, where you plan uh, hold clean up. You can see different type of focuses, uh, including marine litter. So uh, goals of, of such practice, uh, for it's engage as many people as possible. 
environment one agenda. That's why I uh, will explain how, how to attract uh, as, as many people as possible. And uh, we provide uh, to activists a tool to become a sustainable. Uh, what what, 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 uh, what uh, do I mean? Uh, uh, such events and the, such level of uh, events require a lot of uh, additional uh, sponsorship uh, and uh, uh, additional money, for example. And we also train how to attract uh, sponsors and, uh, and make this uh, activity sustainable. So the main slide of uh, today's presentation how to attract people to environmental movements now what did we do uh, first this is gamification uh sportification and computerization I mean di 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 digitalization maybe how to say uh, uh this uh, three three is the most important points because uh, uh it it allow uh combine uh, environmental movements uh, environmental uh, actions with the uh, fun uh, and uh, this fun attract a lot of people not only participants but also a media because uh, when you um, make special game rules and it, it's fun uh, your participants uh, smile during the your uh, event and uh, uh, media uh, get uh, more bright content. It's more attractive for media, and and after that, this is more attractive to local sponsors, and uh, local sponsors take uh, additional responsibility for this area, for this community, and we uh, see that it's a very uh, good uh, uh, symbiotic relationship, like in Asia. Um, so. Uh, it's illustrated in the next slide, very short slide. And then uh, the main uh, main uh, rule how to engage wider audiences is fun uh, against boring and uh, competition against routine. So uh, effectiveness for five to ten times more best collected. Usually it's. Uh, our um, data. Next slide. Yes, uh, the positive effect for participants uh, in uh, during such events, uh, young people, especially uh, more more um, desirable uh, for them such events and uh, attract young people. They learn about the problem of waste pollution and. Uh, a very important point a lot of people especially a lot of young people have a psychological problem how to start how to start make waste sorting in his home and when they to do this or one hour, for example, during the game. After this, uh, this uh, uh, psychological uh, problem solve, and they can do this in how much much simpler. So uh, uh, thanks to this uh, impact more wider. And uh, during the uh, uh, next slide, you can see during the one event uh, usually. Uh, our participants uh, collect from half uh, to uh, 20 tons of waste. Uh, and uh, uh, we have some, as I uh, mentioned previously, we have some uh, cities and some organizers who uh, attract uh, till 1,000 and 1,000 and half uh, uh, participants, huge, huge events. Uh, what is the positive effect for activists or organizers? Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, it's more attractive to the media and uh, local authorities and sponsors. Um, next point, uh, 
uh, such practice uh, create community. Uh, for example, uh, uh, in Russia, community of the clean gains, uh, it is a bigger, uh, no, sorry, it is the biggest uh, uh, environmental volunteers community. Uh, in, and now we uh, hardly work uh, for creation uh, uh, international community uh, uh, because uh, these practice uh, share it uh, uh, for about 30 countries now from now. So generally all uh, what I mentioned before uh, can be uh, Summarize in formula smile, abbreviature of smile, as sporty team based competitions in risk collection and sorting with prize for, for the winners is the core of our practice. Massive, uh, it engages the mass audience uh, and it's, it's uh, very important. Uh, innovative, uh, we use, uh, we, we create and use special mobile application inside. Uh, and it, it, it uh, do uh, this game more innovative, more attractive for young people. Lively, uh, I, I already talked about fun, and it's very important when you um, will plan any environmental activity. I uh, propose uh, to you include fun elements uh, in your activity uh, for attractive more people uh, for for final. Finally, it's it's uh, better for nature, so it, it's it's important also. Bonus effects, the like additional effects um, which we see during our uh, activity, clean games. Uh, it's uh, community development, not only uh, no uh, as I uh, explained before, and uh, starting territory development because uh, it's it's very interesting psychological effect. Uh, and then um, after uh, such cleanup, uh, uh, attracted uh, people, uh, especially attracted local people, uh, feel responsibility for this territory and start to uh, development of this territory. We uh, uh, see uh, we solve this uh, a lot of times. Uh, what? Uh, clean games organization provide organizers because we share this practice as a, a non-commercial franchise very detailed uh, met uh, methodology which uh, each step including uh, how to attract people is uh, uh, written so uh, after uh, after we, we first of all we, pro we propose uh, to sign our uh, non-commercial uh, license agreement uh, and uh, as as soon as uh, activist uh, signs this our uh, license agreement we provide uh, to him uh, free this uh, methodology uh, with detailed instructions and guidelines uh, also uh, we uh, uh, hold leaf and remote trainings uh, we have IT platform website and mobile application, as I told, and uh, uh, also we uh, propose our uh, franchise to um, make application to, to grants, uh, concourse, uh, and uh, it's very effective. A few words about our mobile application. Yeah, it's it's especially interesting because uh, for Baltic region because recently we start to make integration with uh, cost watch practice thanks to Anna thanks to all uh, CCB uh, and uh, uh, very soon we expect uh, final integration and our mobile application will allow. Uh, uh, to hold uh, cost watch event too. Not only cleanup, but uh, also separate uh, separate monitoring actions before cleanups, uh, where participants uh, can uh, to do photo and uh, photo of four uh, types uh, of objects, uh, means animals, uh, plants, waste, and uh, 
I forgot how to say this, sorry. Uh, maybe I'm um, to this um, uh, uh, source of um, pollution of the Baltic Sea. Uh, and after that, expert will be able to check these photos and, and uh, explanation under these photos, uh, roll up game points for best photos and explanations. And uh, also, uh, you will be able uh, to, to to choose uh, to, to winner of this uh, monitoring like a game. It's also will be attractive, I hope. Uh, right now, our mobile application allow uh, to make a game map and uh, mark uh, the most literate areas. Uh, and uh, it's very convenient for um, calculation of the West when teams uh, during the game uh, bring to you uh, uh, West, which they collect separately because uh, it's such such uh, game rules. Then, uh, if you collect uh, West separately during the game, during the such uh, sporty cleanup, it uh, it more expensive. Uh, I mean that more game points uh, will be roll up to you for separate collected West than uh, than for mixed West. And uh, uh, this mobile application uh, make final uh, calculation of results in the game, and it's very objective. Okay, next slide. Uh, yes, uh, we hold uh, uh, offline and online uh, uh, trainings. Uh, Oakland Games, it's our practice. And a uh, few next slides. Uh, explain our uh, correspondence with the uh, uh, sustainable development goals of United Nations five uh, goals uh, from 17 as I remember uh, it's meets so it's important and it's allowed to, to take a part in big granting programs what do we do uh, next slide, uh, show you our development since uh, 2014. Uh, left side, it's um, a number of events and the right uh, side, it's number of the part participants. So you can see that uh, uh, participants in our games, uh, our clean games, uh, now it's um, uh, thousands, thousands of participants. Uh, in real time. Also, you can you, you can see that in COVID times, uh, events and participants was uh, much less. But uh, uh, in the next slide, you can see we uh, create a special. Uh, um, this is a short uh, short break that we count uh, not bags of liter. Next slide. But we, we count participants because it's more optimistic. <laughs> but um, uh, next, please. Next slide. Yes. So, uh, uh, for sustainable development during COVID uh, pandemic, we create anti COVID version of Twin Games uh, when it's not, uh, it, it was not uh, team uh, competitions, but uh, single uh, participation. Uh, special uh, additional rules and uh, it's uh, it's L, uh, allow us uh, to develop during such difficult period you can also um, keep it in mind that uh, even during the most difficult times your uh, environmental practice can be developed so next slide uh, show you that uh, more than 28 countries engage it now in this practice uh, and huge numbers of participants and uh, tons of rest collected and it's it's about effectiveness of this practice so you can use it also in your areas uh, in uh, past years uh, we successfully hold uh, in, uh, games uh, Baltic Cup 
uh, and uh, it was the, held two cups before COVID times, uh, means 24 games. Uh, all, uh, almost all uh, countries uh, in Baltic region was engaged uh, in this Baltic uh, Cup. It's, it's a good case when we uh, take uh, good practice, good case from the sport and transmit to environmental activity. Such, uh, such uh, competitions between countries or between cities allow us uh, uh, also engage uh, more people and uh, also uh, create cooperation between cities and between countries. You uh, next slide you can see statistic of on this uh, multi clean cup. And next slide it's uh, supporting of Nordic Council of Ministers of this project. So uh, also, next slide. Uh, uh, moreover, uh, today, uh, Maxim Zou <laughs> taking part with us in this uh, Baltic Ocean School. So, uh, in our presentation, you can uh, write uh, his feedback. And uh, today, we have a uh, uh, happy opportunity uh, also um, ask him uh, in leave. Uh, his feedback. You know, uh, so a uh, few slides, uh, literally uh, rest. Uh, it's our experience uh, with intercontinental cup between Russia and USA. It was possible 2020. Uh, and it really was successful uh, case between two continents. Uh, you can see that large uh, brands uh, support us, support uh, our activity, and it, it allow make it uh, more massive, more high uh, organized level. And it's also a good case uh, which you can use in your practice. But when you make massive sporty uh, environmental activity with, with the fun. It's more attractive to big sponsor and uh, it's uh, create your activity more sustainable and uh, more uh, uh, huge, more massive. Energy Globe Award was in 2021, like a proof of effectiveness of this practice. So uh, I hope that uh, this presentation was is useful for you, and you can ask me your questions if it is. Thank you for your attention.